when the Chinese came against us. That, that was in uh, November. And there was a great uh, line on across. We just got right across the river from them. And they probably had six or eight of their tanks who were just in a row. We didn't see them first because they, they had camouflaged them so well that they proceeded, proceeded to shoot a lot of the crap out of us on that. Any ideas we had against easy war away? We lost that thought. There was a, a, a North Korean tank, but it was actually come out of Russia. The tanks, all the tanks that we had there, really were Russian tanks. And it got through, and we got in a gunfight with it. And when I'd fire, that time I was a, uh, a cannoneer, and every time I would fire, you could see this shell as it went across the water was probably uh, maybe two feet above the water. And you just see it going, you see it just like a trail going across the water to the enemy. And of course their trail was the same as ours. And uh, we fired away quite a while until... Uh, all of a sudden, ahead of us, I could see a flash, and it, the flames just come up, and I had hit their tank. And it made a believer out of me. It scared the hell out of me. But uh, it went across, and it went, it, it burnt. And I don't know what happened to the men in the tank. I didn't ask. We had a place called, uh, let's see, well, uh, Chip Young Knee. Yeah, Chip Young Knee was our bad battle there. We were circled our tanks that night, uh, that one night particularly. And we came out and just like, in, like the old days where the, the cowboys and Indians would get in a circle and shoot at one another why the Chinese would attack us. And that's one place where we attacked where we attacked them at the river and crossed the river. And we had a good time. There's about, oh, I'd say we were there about three days in that one spot. And they would shoot at us and we'd shoot at them. I belong to the 23rd Infantry, uh, 2nd Infantry Division, and uh, I left for Korea in 1950, and we left then, <coughs> and went over there, and uh, pretty much got in uh, combat shortly after we got there. <laughs> We had a lieutenant, and he assured us that we didn't have anything to worry about because their tank was a tank that wouldn't uh, produce the firepower that, that ours would. Well, we found out that wasn't right because we, we uh, uh, after he told us that little bit of BS, well, about two days later, we would come across against them. And... Uh, this one particular episode, I remember this tank, uh, a Russian tank, came up against us. And we got in our first bit of combat with that thing. And lo and behold, we went down that road. And then we found out that that wasn't quite true. <laughs> tank that we come up firepower against why that tank put two holes in the tank that was ahead of us and they were just that far apart well I think I think it's a good thing we fought it but it's a hell of a time to decide to do it I uh, 
I think world history it probably had an effect. I think that maybe some countries backed off of something they detected attacked us about. If we wouldn't have stayed and fought with them, I, I think that, that we had had where the history would prove that we were wrong for not fighting. I really do. I think we should have fought. Oh, at the time, I'd have disagreed with you. I would have said that a hell of a thing to, to have done. But uh, I, I'd say it probably did. I think when we handled the Korean War, we put forth what should be should have been done. I think we did it. But I think that's the reason that we had the Vietnam War. I feel the Vietnam War occurred because we did the Korea fighting. I think that the, the fighting in Korea paid off. Hell of a way to do it.